You looking to open a brewery? I got some advice for you. When you're opening a brewery, there's three basic ways you can make money off of your beer. You've got the three-tiered system, the two-tiered system, and direct sales. So the three-tiered systems where you give your beer to a distributor and they go sell it to the world. The two-tiered systems where you go out to the world and you give it to the world. Think of like grocery stores, liquor stores, all that fun stuff. The direct to sales is going to be like your tap room where you're handing beers directly to the person buying it versus the store buying it to then sell it to the people. Those are the main ways you make money off of your beer. You need to really think about diversifying the ways you're bringing in revenue because there's a lot of other ways to bring in some revenue. You've got events, you've got distribution sales like cans to go, you've got merchandise, you've got mug clubs, you've got music that you can charge for. There's a lot of different cool ways you can also bring in some revenue while still allowing your beer to be the hero and bring in the bulk of your money. Location, 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 kind of. There's a little bit of a variable in here because you need some special stuff as a brewery. You need really strong flooring. You need good ventilation. You've got zoning requirements to worry about. You've got building requirements. You've got safety requirements. You have brewing requirements. You've got water requirements. So the location is very important. You need to have a good building for what you're doing. And when you're getting ready to do this build, especially if you're doing it from the ground up, you can expect to spend anywhere between $10 and $30 per square foot to get everything built in your building. You got to know your licenses. There's going to be four major licenses that it's going to vary based on what state you're in, but you need to at least know these basic ones. You've got the business license. You've got the TTP license, which is going to be your alcohol, tobacco taxes. You've got your restaurant licenses and you have your liquor licenses. Again, costs on these are going to vary depending on your model, depending on your state. You might not need all of these, but it's still good to have a good idea of what these mean and they mean for your business. So you're going to need them. Opening a brewery is not cheap. You can expect to spend anywhere between $100,000 to a million dollars, depending on how big of a brewery you want. Let's get into those basic initial costs. You've got equipment. You've got building development. You've got cold storage, wastewater system. You've got lab equipment. You've got kegs you gotta buy. You gotta have a beer somewhere. You've got licenses. And those licenses have to get renewed every two to 10 years, depending on where you live. And don't forget, you have expenses for building out your tap room. You have expenses for marketing coming in. You have insurance. You have utilities that are building before you even open. That's gotta go into the initial build out as well. It's not for the faint of heart. It is doable. People love when it gets going but you got to have some upfront cash to get going and you really want to hit the quality well. So get a good brewing equipment. One of the best advice we ever heard was don't expect to get bigger. Don't expect to change it. Do it right the first time because once you're in and moving, what are you going to do? Shut down production for an entire day because you want to get a bigger kettle in? Like you're just not going to. It's not how that works. You end up having to change all of locations. So just do it right Get it done the proper way, and it's going to save you a lot of hassle, and you're going to be so much happier in the long run. So don't undercut yourself. Have fun. Let's go. Do you have a tap room? There's expenses that come in with that. You've got seating and tables. That can cost you anywhere between $1,000, good luck, or up to $40,000. Good chairs are expensive. People don't want to hang out if they're uncomfortable, and you need a good table. We've all been to the restaurant with the wobbly table. Freaking sucks. On top of that, you got to think of your draft line. You got to get that whole system installed. That can cost you close to 30K, especially depending on how long and far away your cold room is compared to where your draft lines are. And to add into it, things to consider. Lighting is important. Uh, if you're going to have a mural up, what's the walls going to look like? What are your color schemes? So you can have art up on the walls. These are all things to consider when you're creating your ambiance and your brand of what people are going to see and come in. You want people to come in and feel instantly welcome and instantly excited to be in there. So the energy has got to be good. Don't, don't skimp on this if you're planning on doing a lot of direct to sales and expecting your tap room to bring in the bulk of your money. This is your biggest investment right now. You got through all your bulk costs, right? You're like, I'm good to go. But maybe you kind of forgot about your ongoing costs. All right, let's break those down a little bit. You've got electricity, you've got water, you've got ingredients, and an ongoing with your ingredients, you want to use high quality ingredients, they're going to cost a little bit more. You basically expect 
to spend about 10 to 30 percent of your entire gross revenue on your ingredients again you've done the bulk cost getting everything started people love coming in now you got to nail that beer get good quality get good flavors get consistency and that costs it just does sorry you can't do it all yourself I know it's hard to believe, but you can't be brewing, running the business, and slinging the beers. You're probably going to need some employees. And good employees are clutch to keeping your vision and your passion getting pushed to the customers so they know exactly what they're getting when they come in and why they should come in. If you're looking to get an assistant brewer or a part-time employee, you're looking probably around 14 bucks an hour, around 30 k a year. you got to consider that in your budget. And if you got to get a brewmaster in, because maybe you're not the big time brewer, you're going to be looking probably close to at least 50K a year at 19 bucks an hour, which isn't crazy. It's going to be more depending on where you live, but that's a big cost to have to consider in, in your whole grand scheme of what you got to make each year. Just keep that in mind. Maybe you got to go to brewing school. What about marketing costs? The good old catch 22. Everybody hates marketing. Why? Because there isn't a direct ROI out of it. I know that sucks and you don't want to have to spend it, but it matters. If you've got a brewery open and it's not bringing in customers, it's just a really expensive hobby. So to get going, you want to have a good brand. You want to have a good logo. You want to be recognizable. That's going to cost you anywhere between five and $15,000 before you even open because you got to get menus in. You got to get merch designed. All of that stuff takes time and finding every, all of the proper gear that you want to have in your brewery. And then on top of it, you're going to need ongoing marketing costs, which you can easily expect to budget five to 10,000 a year or one to 2% of your entire revenue coming in, which isn't that bad. I think people get really fixated on the ROI on it. If you really think of one to 2%, if your marketing so bad, you don't think it's bringing in one to 2%, you should probably get a new marketing person, but it should be fairly easy to see one to two percent coming in from the quality of marketing so good luck there's a lot of great people to get hired out there and have fun with it that's the biggest thing have fun and stick to your brand with it it's a great time